Hi everyone and welcome. Uh, my name is Bobby and this evening I've got a wine update for you guys. Uh, last week I did a homemade wine video which I went over step by step on how I create this stuff here. I actually got the uh, cranberry juice cocktail and the plum wonderful pomegranate juice that I had mentioned in my homemade wine video last week. Uh, and these have actually been fermenting for a little over a month now upstairs. And uh, this one had died out about a day ago. This has no fermentation whatsoever going on. This is the pomegranate juice. Uh, on the other hand, the cranberry juice cocktail has a little bit of bubbling going on. Just, just slightly, not much. But I think it's close enough. Now this is uh, the cranberry juice that I found out today is, is contains only 27% juice. Uh, now, in, in, in a video last week, I mentioned that it's got to be 100%. Now, I didn't see this when I bought it at the store, but I did read the ingredients because it mentions nothing about 100% on the, on, on the label in here, on the front. But it, it has no preservatives and nothing like that that I can see, so I don't know what the other 70% is. But, uh, I mean, that's why I make it my hobby. I mean, I mean, it's fun to experiment with this kind of stuff. I mean, like I said in my last video, you can add, you know, different amounts of sugar. You can use different yeast. I mean, it's just fun to play around with, experiment with different flavors and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, this is a video. I'm, I'm going to be testing these out and, and racking them. Hopefully, they're ready. Uh, they should be. This one should be, it's not doing anything. If it's not, there's something seriously going wrong with that. But uh, anyway, I've got a cap here with a hole in it that I'm going to use for this. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Now, I do have my trusty old hydrometer. And what we're shooting for is 1.000. Now, that is the uh, specific gravity for water. If you were to pour water in here, this thing would drop down to the second mark on the top. That's what we're shooting for in our line here, is 1.000. Now if you wanted, you can uh, stop fermentation a little early to get a, a more sweeter wine if you wanted to, but I let mine go all the way until it stops. Uh, I like to get close to, uh, as close as possible to the specific gravity of water, which is this uh, 1.000. So, without further ado, let's let's get started here. I got I got my hose here. I do have two marks on this. I, my first mark here is for when I siphon into my hydrometer, so it won't go down all the way down to the bottom. Uh, you go about middle ways. The second mark here is for siphoning or racking into to my bottle here, uh, it, it, it drops down to about an inch from the bottom here. So uh, what I do, I'll put a tie wrap or a wire tie, whatever you want to call it. People call it different things. But, okay, we'll put this on there. I hope I don't make a mess because I'm not I'm not very good at si uh, siphoning, so uh, bear with me on this. So what we want to do, I'll bring it over here. And I'll to drop the sucker down into my mix here, to the juice, just like that. Move this out of the way. I could make a mess, I don't know. On the last one, I, I made a very big mess. But what I do, I, I, I loop it like this. And what I do, I'll suck it, the, uh, the juice, down into this uh, curve here. I get going on with this hose. And then I'll drop it down. So I'll just try it, see what happens. Okay, 
So you see that worked pretty good there. Let's bring this back out. Very slowly. Well, first off, let's, let's get the excess out. Okay, just like that. I actually uh, just leave it down in there if I wanted to. Just like that. There's my line there. And now what we're shooting for, like I said, is, is the uh, specific gravity of the water, which is the 1.000, the second mark, mark uh, the second line from the top. So we're going to put this right here. We're going to test it out. Give it a little spin. And that's actually quite hot. That's actually very sweet. Actually. We're at 1.050. Uh, that's going to be definitely a sweet wine. Uh, I'm still going to give it a, a taste test. Uh, but yeah, that's, in my opinion, I mean, it's been over a month. And, and it's right here. So we pretty much, this is probably as far as this one's going to go. I guess it's because of the 27% juice. That's what I'm guessing. So what we'll do, we'll pull this out. Well, let's just leave it in there. Well, let's pull it out. I'm going to wreck this whole thing right now. I mean, it's... It's really not going to, uh, let's pour this back in there. I mean, it actually smells pretty good. Actually, it does. So what we're going to do, I got these bottles here labeled. So I'm going to go with this one. I got a Rick and Cranberry right here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to move this up to this mark here. The next mark up. Okay, now we're going to slowly put this in. Remember, you don't want it hitting the bottom. That's actually hitting the bottom, actually. I need to bring this down a little bit. Okay, let's put this top on there. Okay. Put it on in there. See what it ends up this time. Move this thing up a little more. It's hard to get it just right. I, don't, I definitely don't want to get any of that uh, yeast. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. So that's that's that. And again, we want to get this started. Fill up the bottle here. It's filling up nicely.
that's good. That bottle filled up pretty good right there. I could actually. All right. That's about an inch from the bottom. That's that's good right there. And what I have here, I got my old uh, airlocks. Uh, you can buy this at Walmart. That's where this comes from. You just set it down on there just like that right there. It's like a pump. You can actually pump it. You just kind of pull the air out of it. And what you do, just uh, this is ready to drink right now actually, but uh, you, can, you can let it sit as long as you can. The longer you let it sit, the better it tastes. I'll sit that right there. And uh, that's all there is to it, guys, right there. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this in ready and I'll show you the uh, readings on that one. I won't show you how I wreck it because, I mean, there's no sense in it. You've you just seen how I've done that one. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this pomegranate juice. We'll go ahead and stick this in there. We'll get a sample. Now this is the uh, pomegranate. Yeah. We'll see what kind of reading we get on this one. This one's totally dead. I mean, it's not bubbling whatsoever like the other one was. But uh, I went ahead and racked the other one anyway. But, uh, anyway. Here and I got my cranberry right here. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do the cranberry first. I'm going to save the best for last, of course. I got the two uh, M8 brewing glasses. I'm going to go with this one first. And we'll uh, sort of pour it in. what I do, you can put this back on there, take your little pump right here, and just kind of pump the air out of it. But uh, here's the cranberry, and it is actually pretty clear, actually. It smells like wine. Let's see. Let's see if it tastes like wine. Oh, cheers. My bad. Okay, first off, you do get hit with that cranberry. I mean, you do taste the cranberry. It's also a little gassy. It has a, a little... Uh, uh, carbonation to it and it is also a little sweet but uh, it's very good actually yeah that is good you have a slight heat with the alcohol but uh, it is it's, it's, it's good it's good it's very 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 drinkable very drinkable Wow, that's good. That is good. Has that sparkling taste to it, you know? Like a sparkling wine. Oh wow, that is that is good. That is very good. Hmm. Let me take one more sip and then we'll go with the uh, pomegranate. Wow, that's good. Guys, that's awesome. That, that's very good right there. So this one turned out pretty good. Now we're going to go with the pomegranate here. My other uh, made brewing glass. Up the top. And we're going to pour That's an awful lot of alcohol, huh? <laughs> an awful lot of wine. But uh, yeah. And again, this is uh, it's kind of dark, but at the same time, it's clear. I mean, it's 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 not bad. And I don't taste the. I mean, well, I don't smell the the pomegranate or anything. You do smell like the alcohol smell to it. So, uh, cheers. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> Woo! Now this thing is definitely stronger than the cranberry, definitely. I mean, you can actually feel more heat and when it hit my stomach, it can you can feel the heat in my stomach. Woo! And it is gassy. It does have that carbonation to it, just like the uh, cranberry did. Uh, but I don't, I don't taste much of the pomegranate cherry tree. Woo! That's definitely strong, though. That's that's definitely a Yeah, that's full body, definitely. That's that's full body wine right there. But uh, yeah, that that is definitely good. Very, it, it is uh, a very strong compared to the cranberry. The cranberry is more of a sweet, sparkling wine. 
the pomegranate is definitely an alcoholic alcoholic drink definitely no doubt about it oh man that yeah <laughs> yeah that's some strong stuff there that that's definitely beats the cranberry definitely I mean I'm not telling y'all to go out and buy no $9, $9 pomegranate, you know, the pom, wonderful pomegranate juice. This was just, you know, I had to buy this at least one time to try it out, but, whew, it definitely, I'm glad it turned out good, because that, that was $9 right there. Uh, my next video, my next update, uh, I got some pineapple juice here I'm going to try, and I got some, uh, uh, ruby red grapefruit. I got the plastic over it because I had to use the top on the other one. I had to drill a hole in it. But yeah, grapefruit. Ugh. I don't know. We're going to try it. So uh, I'll get back with you guys on this. This is going to take you probably a couple weeks. And until then, until then, uh, stay, stay thirsty, my friend. Bobby signing off.